Following Friday's practice, the team was dismissed for a four-day Christmas holiday. No practices, no problem, right? These guys go from January until now, and they've gotten a week for spring break, a little bit of time in the summer, and then a week before camp, so they really haven't had much time off. So the time off's important physically as it is mentally. We're pretty healthy right now as a team, so the four days, as far as health-wise, aren't going to help us too much. It will get them off their feet, healthy mentally, but the and we want them to enjoy the holiday. But some guys, particularly the bigger guys, if they enjoy it for four straight days and don't do anything, when they come back back to work next Wednesday, I think, or Tuesday is our first practice, they will feel that a little bit. Kids are off a few days now, and there's going to be a lot of turkeys and hams and cookies and stuff. Instructions to your kids? Uh, you know, just don't uh, eat too much. You know, have a good time, enjoy your family and the holiday and all that. But, uh, you know, we've got to be smart enough to know that when we get back down there on the 28th, we've got a lot of work to do. There's certain high-risk kids to me. They're on every team that are higher body fat guys and, like I said, the bigger guys. So we don't address every kid individually. We'll give them some things. We gave a couple kids we handed out workouts and wanted them to do while they're home, and that's great. Wellman will have the weight room open Monday and Tuesday for those players who didn't leave town for the holiday and want to get a good workout in before leaving for New Orleans on Wednesday. I don't have a problem with a guy getting off his feet for four days and resting because we've got another week to work out down there. So that's not – some kids it's going to be de detrimental for. You know, some kids who go home will lose some of the conditioning, will overeat, and will feel sluggish when they get back, and that can't happen. If it does happen, then we got a week to whip them into shape for the game. MGoBlue.com's coverage of the Sugar Bowl begins Tuesday from New Orleans.